I thought I would show you what I'm doing here. Uh, this is the the first book that I'm going to, I'm taking the pages out. So I have several of them here and they still have this beautiful, um, I think this is wax paper or it's like parchment paper. So these are, were never, I don't think they'd been opened. And I'm trying not to have my feelings hurt when I tear the pages out, but I have started. And, um, but I, I wanted to show you what I'm doing here because maybe someone would want to try this. Um, so I am leaving this intact. So if you've seen some of my other videos, I, I cut them out before, but for this one, I'm going to alter this book. So I want to leave the spine and these end pages in place and I really like the cover page so um, if you can see that it says Code of the West I I have some other lighting some better lighting now um, a couple of them got a, a few comments that my lighting wasn't so good so I'm working on that thank you for helping me improve um, and so as you can see this is just I just think this is so beautiful and so I am leaving these first three pages and as you can see, I have torn out, it was so hard to do, but here they are. I tore out eight pages and then I leave one and then these two will be glued together to form a pocket. Now I did not invent this technique. I actually saw um, lots of videos, but the first one I, I ever watched and who really introduced me to to junk journaling when I first started learning about YouTube last year is Crafty Irina and she has a great YouTube channel on all things junk journaling and uh, she does other things too but a lot of junk journals so I have watched many many hours of her videos and so um, she had done one with about 300 and I think she said 320 pages. This one has 309. So I went ahead and followed her formula of taking eight pages out and then folding one over. So these will be glued together. And then I'm gonna save this page. And then I took out eight more pages. And then this one will be glued to, to this one. And I'm gonna make pockets out of these. So I'll glue here and then I'll save this because this will be where it's open. And then I took out another eight pages and then I'll save that one and I'll turn this one over too. So essentially it is decide how many you want at the front and then what your first page is gonna be, then you're gonna turn up, tear out eight, turn two over, tear out eight, turn two over, tear out eight. So, so that's what I've been doing here and I am ready to start my next eight pages. And so I, I'm just gonna do that here with you. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I put a mark in there because I double check because I don't wanna mess it up. And um, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so I will tear these out. And I'm just gonna make sure one more time. So this will be glued together. This will be the front page. And this this one back here will be the second page that I will glue. So these will come out. Oh, so that's all I do. And this, I, I'm just being honest, this is really hard for me to do. I'm sorry. But I'm really excited to use these pages. And I think this book is going to come out really nicely. And so I'm here and I'm not going to clean this up because I'm just going to, it's, I might a little bit, but I want to leave this here so that when I glue it, the spine is still intact. So then I'm going to take two pages, one, Two, and then I'll tear another eight.
and I will save the page again. I'm thinking if I had done this live as a, a live stream, but I'm just gonna video this. So I'm gonna stop this here and then I'm gonna finish. As you can see, I have this whole page to go. And so when I'm done, I will come back and show you my next step. So I have torn out all my pages and this is how thin it looks right now. And so my next step will be to glue my pages. And so this, there's still quite a bit in there. And uh, once I get it decorated and embellished, it'll, it'll fill out again. So the first step to altering the book. And I'm going to be using this E6000. You could use um, Elmer's glue. I've seen I've seen different kinds of adhesives, and so I just figured this is what I've got. I do have a little bit of Elmer's glue, but I maybe don't have a lot. And I'm just going to use this maybe to put it on. And my my tip that I learned is once you have torn your pages out, you kind of need to think how you want your book, the layout to be, so that you will will know, like when I ended, I, I didn't have um, enough, obviously I didn't have eight pages near the end. If I'd torn them out, I would have ended up tearing these out. And I wanted to leave this back page here and this page. And I really like the idea of ending, having the last page have the, the end here. So I, I don't know what I'm gonna do to embellish the page, but for now I wanted it there. So I, my last pocket is right here, and this will be the last layout, and then turn the page, and I will make one more pocket, but I didn't tear any pages apart out of these two, I think. I could leave them blank for extra journaling uh, spaces, and then, and then decorating the back. So once you once you know that then I'm gonna be starting from the back and this is I learned from watching videos if you glue it this way and then fold the pages over you're gonna get this this bump here as you can see when it dries and it's gonna warp the pages but if we start in the back then as we lay them down they're going to lay flat so you can see the difference. These, once they're glued, they'll lay flat as opposed to if you flip them over, they have the warp. So starting in the back, then I will start with my first. So I've moved these so far. I'm gonna leave these the way they are. And this would be the first, the first pages that I'm gonna glue. Oh. Okay. <laughs> almost need some pliers to pull these off and uh, this is really really good glue and I'm just gonna run a bead of it maybe did it is it kind of dry no it's good just get it started because it is kind of messy right down here so I wanna, and then I'm gonna write right I'm gonna leave some room for for it to kind of smush when I smush, is that a technical word? And I do have this brush in case I wanna smear, uh, spread it out, but I think I'm gonna start like this first. And then I'm just gonna lay it down and press my pages together. And then this glue is it's industrial strength, but I think it needs like 24 hours to dry, 24 hours to dry. So once I have all these pages, then I will, I'll let it dry for the night. So, so my first pocket is right here and you can see it'll open up right there. So I will go through and glue all of my pockets together.
make sure that I have enough glue here. And then I will come back with what, I think I want to pull this up to do that. I want them to be even. Then I will either fast forward this or I will cut and come back. I decided the best way for me to make sure that my pages were even as they were glued was to kind of, while, I, while they're standing up like this, then I smooth my pages together and just make sure that the base down here, if any glue comes out, I just kind of run it up the side. This is a little messy, but this dries clear. So that was my last, my last pocket page. So they are wet, so they're going to need to dry overnight. So I'm going to, they're starting to dry over here. I did end up go ahead and clean some of this out because I found that it was really thick. Um, and I see that, um, as you can see, it's starting to dry already, but it was, re it's really thick here uh, where I didn't, I didn't rip all the pages off. Uh, this is the first time I've ever done this folks. So, um, so as you can tell, there's still bulk in these pages here. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that, but it's my first one. We'll see. And I wanted to make sure that there wasn't a, a bubble on the side, as you can see. So that's why I pulled them up to make sure that they were uh, lining up. Like this one here. There's a little, a little wrinkle there. So I'm going to just work through those. And then I think let this dry. So this one's still a little. But they're starting to dry but I have my pockets. All my pages are glued together and then I have pockets and I can see where a couple of them aren't, aren't all the way stuck there. And so I'm get, maybe gonna have to go in and add a little extra glue, but I'm gonna let that, let's see. I wanna put a little more glue there. I, I was trying to make sure that I didn't have a lot uh, spilling out, you know, when I pressed it closed, because then that would cause my my pages to stick together, and I didn't want that. The ladies who make all these journals make it look like it's so easy, folks. It is. Maybe it gets easier over time. Okay, I think I got the rest of them. We'll just see, because I'm, I'm this is I'm not done. This is step one. So. I will let this dry overnight and then I will start decorating the insides. As you can see, it's already starting to thicken up. And I think I'm gonna do different technique with the next one. So I'll finish this one, but I, I was just thinking as I was working on this, I think the next one is gonna need a different, I don't think I love this so much, but someone might. So we'll just see as we go. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.